Hello everyone, today uh, we're going to do yet another Argo GitOps lab. In this lab, we're going to install uh, Argo workflow first, and then we're going to install an actual workflow job, if you will, on, on that cluster. Uh, and then we're going to verify that. So let's get going. First, we have to make sure that we have access to a cluster, which I do. It's a one node cluster in GKE. Then we're going to install, uh, we're going to create a namespace called Argo. Okay, create namespace. It's going to be called Argo. Okay, Argo. And then we're going to install Argo workflow project. Basically, basically all the things we need to get a workflow going. And we do this by applying a YAML file they already give us that we can refer to. It's very simple, one-liner. It will install several CRDs, customer sub definitions. That is the fundamentals of core of what we need for Argo workflow to actually work. And as you can see, a lot of stuff got installed, including some CRDs. It is now installed. Um, we, we know that because if we do kget, uh, sorry, kget uh, all, minus namespace Argo, you will see that we have deployment, services, pods, all kinds of stuff running. All right, so now that workflow is installed, now we're going to actually install a, it's like installing um, the packages and then installing something on top of it. So we're going to skip this step because that's only for local hosts, so we don't care about that. Uh, now to actually install a workflow, we're going to Follow the instructions here. First step is optional for localhost. We don't care about that. So this is the actual YAML, which will run a uh, Docker container called uh, Wellsay. And that is the YAML we're going to use to install this Hello World workflow. So we will say a.yaml. This is the YAML file that we're going to use. Hopefully it works. I haven't tried it, actually. So k apply minus f a dot yaml let's make this smaller so you can see better um, not sure what that error means actually so let's see a dot yaml did i mess it up api version kind of workflow with little comments Cannot, oh, I see. So we have to give it an actual name. See, if we, if we use like this, it, 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 we're asking Kubernetes to actually generate an YAML, which apparently we can do with apply. So we'll just say one, two, three, four, five. How's that? Uh, actually, now we're going to be name and not that. So let's try that. See what happens. I, don't know, I think it's a smaller case. Let's do that. Small case, let's try that if that happens. All right, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now to verify, let's see how much time I have left on the video. One minute, a minute and a half. So to verify this, this is also new for me, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Let's do this and go, actually should do this. K, get WF minus N, WF for workflow, hopefully, hopefully it'll work, minus N, uh, Argo. Interesting. How about k get? Actually, let me see. Where did it get installed? First of all, ooh, I didn't mention a namespace will be in default. So let's do this instead. Yeah, there's that. There's the workflow. So now we can do k get workflow. And this is the name of the workflow. Sorry, I meant oh, JSON, so we can get the JSON output of this. These are all the details about the workflow. In the next video, we will actually run the workflow. This is just the definition of, of it. Uh, we can also do probably, let's see how much time do we have left. 21 seconds. Okay, so we'll stop there. So we in this lab, we installed workflow pro, uh, packages on our cluster. Then we actually used a workflow um, to test this. And I will see you in the next uh, Argo GitOps lab.